Hi guys, I would like to show you new Zensets add-on by the creators of Zen UE. Zensets is an add-on for creating and managing selection sets. You can save the selection of vertices, edges, faces and bring it back whenever you want in a couple of clicks. But these are not all functions, so let's take a closer look at this. To install the add-on you need to go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install and install Zen sets from your desktop. Then you need to activate it. Zen sets works only in edit mode and has two menus, side panel menu and pie menu. The default hotkey for the pie menu is Ctrl Shift D. If you want to change it, you need to go to preferences, key map and change it here. On the top we can see three elements, vertex, edge and face. A bit lower we can see two modes for each element, sets and parts. And it means that in total we have six different element sets. Vertex sets, parts, edge sets, parts and face sets, parts. What is the difference between sets in, and parts? In parts each element can belong to only one group, but in sets each element can belong to a different groups. For example, we can select these screws and press plus button to add it to a new group. Also, we can add to this selection this button and again add a new group. And now when we are switching between these two groups, we can see that these screws belong to two different groups. But if we create face parts groups, it will be different. Let's select screws, add it to a new group and also we'll select this button and add everything to the new group. And now we can see that screws were deleted from the first group because each element in the parts mode can belong to only one group. For each group we have following functions where we can add selection to the group, where we can remove it, height, unhide, invert height, but the most important a lot of options for selection. Let's turn off display so we can select elements of the active group. We can for example deselect elements of the active group and we can select intersection with active group. Without display option it's really hard to understand what group is selected in the viewport and that's why we added this smart select option so where you can choose just only one polygon and click smart select and then elements of the group will be selected as well as the group itself. Zen Sets has its own workspace tool that can be activated by this button or by the same button from the Pi menu. So when the tool is active you have additional buttons here and also you can scroll between Zen Sets holding Ctrl Shift and scroll. And also you can scroll between groups by holding Ctrl and scroll. One additional option is when you use face parts, you can simulate ZBrush polygroups. What does it mean? So let's press auto groups. Each linked faces will receive its own group. So and now you need to hold Ctrl and Shift and click on the group. It will be isolated. That you need to hold Ctrl and Shift and drag to invert it and again we can hold Control shift and hide some groups. Then we can Control shift and drag invert it. We can select it and Control shift clicking on the empty space to unhide all. 
If you are using only face parts, you can disable all other Zen sets. You need to go to modes and just disable everything except face parts. Now we have only face parts. As well as you can disable some panels, for example, tools and help. Here we have some face parts groups that contain zero elements and we can delete them easily by delete, empty groups and press OK. Also, each group, depending on the element, can be exported to the native vertex groups, vertex colors and face maps. Let's do it. You can export to vertex color, export to face maps, and vertex can be exported to vertex groups. Also, we can delete all the groups from all the sets by this global cleanup and import face groups from face maps back. And the same for vertices for the sets. Also, we have some additional tools. For example, assign materials to groups. And each group received its own material. And create objects from groups. For example, from all the groups. Now we have separate objects with separate materials for each group. Also keep in mind that using Zen sets you can create your own tools to improve your own pipelines. In most cases I am just using PyMenu and that's all. For example, I can hide these parts, these parts, vertices, and add it to the new group. OK. We can select these polygons and also add it to the new group. Also, we can we can select these edges and also add it to the new group. So we know what we can do, so we just can select one vertices, smart select and press move. Great. Also we can select just one edge, again smart select, and we can use bevel. The same about faces, just one face, smart select and it's the selection is here, so you can save a lot of time just by not selecting again and again the same elements. You can find Zen sets on the Blender Market and Gumroad. If you have any wishes or suggestions regarding our products, please join our Discord channel and thanks for watching.